All right, guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we got a quick half dollar hunt. Um, they're all custom wrapped rolls, but they do look like they were wrapped a while ago. So hopefully that's a good sign. We got the stacking silver mat here. Has brought us luck lately in our past hunts. Um, so hopefully, without further ado, our first roll will bring us some silver. And not just our first roll, our rolls, every roll to come. All right, guys, I'm on this second roll, and uh, I just wanted to bring you in because this is a little bit of an oddity. They are customer wrapped, uh, but I still was not expecting this. This is a full roll of 1972s, which in variety, or in variety terms, isn't bad because you still can find that 1972 DDO. That is quite rare. But uh, yeah. I'll bring you in if we have a DDO or some silver. All right, guys, roll number five. We're gonna have our first find. I was going through it and I flattened it out. I saw a shiny coin. Sure enough, it was a proof. 1977 out of San Francisco. First finds, always love to get some proofs. That means that these were not looked through. So hopefully, with that being said, we can get some silver. All right, guys, roll number 10, and we are going to have an awesome variety here. This is the 1982 Philadelphia, and when I looked on the back, it did not have an FG. Now, there is not even any remnants of an FG here. It's just plain no FG. And let me show you the back of this coin, which is a 1980. The same design, though, and that's where the FG is. But if you look here, there is not an FG. So very cool and also in very good condition. I would say around a mid, low min, high, very high U to low min state. So probably a 30 to $50 coin. Um, so definitely I'm gonna go put that up here so that no other coins touch it. An amazing find. Did not think I would find that. But uh, yeah, roll number 10, hopefully we can get some more. All right, guys, we're done with those 36 rolls. And uh, they didn't have many finds, but the finds that we did get were pretty cool. We had a 1977 proof, pretty circulated condition, but still love finding proofs. And they keep all of them no matter the condition. The best find of those rolls was that 1982P, no FG. Um, definitely in really nice shape. I'm gonna go ahead, flip that up. But I'm supposed to get a um, few boxes tomorrow from a bank. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tag these rolls along with those boxes. I'll be back. And when I do, hopefully, we can get some more finds. All right, guys. I'm back with four more boxes of half dollars. Uh, here I got two NF String and Sun boxes. And I got my other two, which are Brinks boxes outside and uh these don't have any unders however i do believe that the brings boxes are going to be dandy boxes mm -hmm. they have four enders 164 ender confirmed and then that was in the first box and the second box has three enders well two enders for sure one reverse facing 168 and then another one's reverse facing that looks very silvery but i'm not 100 percent sure about it just because of coloring but before i get hunting um, this is my stacking silver mat. This is the mat I've used, um, and I'm not a big believer in superstitions, but since I've started using this mat, I've been getting great silver boxes. Now, before I get hunting, I just want to say again that um, I am doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you are subscribed so that we can get to 500 subscribers. If you haven't commented down in the comment video, which I posted on my channel, called 500 subscriber giveaway comment video. Go comment in that so you have your chance, you, so you have yourself a chance to win some coins. I'm gonna get started. And if I find anything, I'll let you know. We do have somewhere in this box right here, we have a 2020 Ender. So maybe there will be some NIFCs. Hopefully not too, too many, but you never know. Let's get cracking. And I'll bring you in if and when we have any finds. All right, guys, I am on roll number four, 
And maybe the NF string and sunboxes aren't going to be so bad. And maybe they're going to continue the collection dump that I got a few weeks ago because these are from the same bank that I got from them. That I, get, that I got the Benji collection dump from. And I am saying this because, once again, roll number four. We are going to have a silver sandwich, folks. They look like 290s, and that one might be a bit older. But first, let's get to this one, which I think is going to be a Kennedy. And it's not! Benji alert! Benji alert! 1952 Philadelphia. Benji alert. And like I said, this one looked a bit older. So will it be another Benji? And it will be Silver Sammy Double Benji Roll Number Four, 1954 Philadelphia. And I thought this box wasn't gonna have any silver. Two Benjis and an IFC. Maybe, just maybe, we can get some more silver. Two Benjis in one roll. Wow. All right, roll number five, and this isn't going to be a find, but I just wanted to point out that all that a lot of these coins have some sort of, like, paper, and, like, they're sticky on the back, um, almost like they're from an album, which is the same way that my last Benji dump was, and my last Benji dump was also from the same bank from the NF boxes, so maybe um, what I'm thinking here is that this already have two Benjis, maybe these boxes might have some more silver, but I'm thinking that um, these coins are all, or whatever has that sticky stuff on the back, um, or that white, or that paper, maybe maybe they're just from the same dump. Hopefully I get some more silver, but maybe for, they're from the same person that went to a bank and dropped off their collection coins. Now that's just a theory, I'm not 100% sure, but I just wanted to let you guys know what I was thinking. All right guys, we're on number 25. We're gonna have a bit of a miscellaneous coin here. It's a... Uh, pocket coin and a hold coin and what i mean by pocket coin is that this is so worn down uh most likely somebody just had this in their pocket was rubbing and rubbing away sort of as like their lucky keepsake and it was also used as a necklace coin so which is that what that hole is since it is in 1971 we'll check for a ddo which uh, it's probably gonna be impossible to see even if there was but another find for the board and uh that completes another one another one of the uh, uh, categories, so 90% silver, and IFC, miscellaneous, all we need is a proof and a 40% to have a fill the board hunt. Speak of the 1971 Denver DDO Devil, I stuck this one under the scope, and sure enough, it is a DDO. You can see that by that extra thickness in the R, and that if you look here at the top of the U, you can sort of see that there's almost two serifs. Now I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit so you can see that a bit better. And if you move up here to that to this T, let me try and catch it in the light. Good. You can see on this side how there's a little bit of thickness. Uh, let's see, are there any other 1971Ds? Yeah, here. I'm going to just compare these two together. So you can see how that R doesn't really have any extra thickness. It's just one line. But here, this R is very thick. So very cool find. We now have two miscellaneouses. It's funny how I said that we would check for the 1971 Denver DDO on this one. And then literally the next coin in the roll was this 1971 DDO. I'll flip that up for the end of the hunt. But another miscellaneous for the board and a little bit of extra value in the pocket. Roll number 35, ladies and gentlemen, and we are going to have another silver. This one's just gonna be 40%, but it's silver, so I can't complain. 1967, out of Philly, third silver for the board. All we need is a proof for the fill board. Roll 41, and we're gonna have a gold plated I haven't found one. I haven't found a good one of these in a while. So hopefully it is just is gold plated and not gold painted, and uh, seems to be just gold painted. So I'm not gonna keep it. I only keep really heavily gold plated ones, 
Uh, but this one clearly is not heavily gold plated. I won't be keeping it, but if we have anything in the last eight rolls, and the reason why there's one missing is because I used a roll so that I had good coins to replenish because as you can see, I'm rolling them. So last eight rolls, hopefully we can get some more finds. We have five rolls left. We're on roll five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 44. Roll 44. So really there would be six rolls left, but again, we had to use, that would be the 46 roll, but roll 44. Five rolls left, and we're gonna have another silver. And this one again looks 90. I think just by the edge, it's gonna be a Kennedy. <laughs> it's not a Kennedy. It is a 1957 Denver Benji in pretty nice shape. It's another Benji. Wow. That really, just from the edge, looked like Kennedy. Just from not a lot of wear, but who knew I'd be getting three Benjis in this box? Hopefully more. But so far, three Benjis and a 40. All right, guys, we're done with that box. And it was a dandy. We got some NIFCs, uh, 2004, 2013, and a few 2020s. We got that hold and pocket coin, the 1971D Denver double die obverse, probably AU, XF to AU shape, not great condition, probably a five to $10 coin, 15 max. Had 40% silver, 1967, and three Benjis, 52, 54, and 57 Philadelphia's for these two, Denver for this lucky guy. I'm gonna go ahead and crack into this box also, no enders, but hopefully we got the rest of what I think is that collection dump. We're on roll number 45 of this box. The reason I'm excited, this is not silver, but the reason why I'm excited is because we got a proof. And this proofs, and this proof, I think it's a proof. It could just be a shiny back. Um, this proof would make it a fill the board for the box. It has a bit of a thicker rim, but we're going to see if it's a proof. In three, two, one. And it is a 1974 proof, fill the board proof. And that is a good I did not think we were going to have any finds in this box besides those NIFCs, but we got a proof. It is circulated as a proof can be, but it is still a proof. That's a fill of the board, and we still got two boxes and five rolls left. Let's see what else we can find. All right, I'm on roll number 46. And this is 1972. It was just doing a sound check after checking all the DDOs and stuff. And I was listening. And it sounded a bit different. You can't really hear it on the video. So I waited. And a regular coin, regular half dollar, is supposed to weigh around 11.3 to 11.4 grams. When I weighed this one, it was 10.3 grams, a whole gram lighter. So I'm thinking that this coin is a light planchet. You can hear it, you can feel it, and you can see it. Um, I'm just gonna research it a little bit, and uh, it's definitely a light planchet, um, whether it's a magic coin or an error. I know they made these uh, as an error, but I'm just gonna put it up here as a miscellaneous. Um, so yeah, a light planchet, mint's error. I don't know if it has much value since it's only a gram lighter, but uh, thank you, scale. Chinese scale I got from Amazon for like nine bucks. But, uh, sorry about that, my microscope just fell. But uh, yeah, light planchet, mint air, I think. And uh, I'll bring it in if we have any finds. More finds in the, in the last box. If not, I'm just gonna go straight. You know what? 
Never mind that. All right, folks, that box is done. We had no silver, but we did have seven NIFCs, a proof, a fill the board proof, and a 19. Sorry, I put them in the long, wrong places because I have to put both of them up. A 1972 light plancher, 10.31 grams. Well, let me get the other box and show you why I'm excited. All right, folks, I got the two black boxes or Brinks boxes with me. And let me show you why I'm excited for these boxes. In the first box, we have an Ender here. And uh, it's definitely silver because it's a 1964 90%er. So very excited to do this box. I'll be doing this box first because this has only one Ender. Uh, I don't think that's a proof. In this box, we have two for sure Enders. A 1968 here. Let me double check 1968, yes. And then a reverse of a silver that I'm pretty sure is 40%. However, right here, I believe, I think we're going to have another silver ender. But I saw one in one of the other box, in my last box, that looked like this on the reverse. It was not silver. So. We'll see when that one comes, just to compare the two in color, which is why this one I was a little confused because it's not as white as the one on the left. So maybe not silver for this, but we definitely have two confirmed silver enders in this box. They're both on the top, on all the silver enders as well, on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this box, and I'll bring you in if we have any finds here. Otherwise, we'll be in for the ender. All right, guys. Roll six, and time for the ender. I'm gonna try to open this up with one hand. Other side, not an ender. I'm gonna try to open this up with one hand. It's successful to see if there's any other silver in here. Besides that. Uh, I don't see any besides that silver. 1964. Philadelphia, 90% silver, half dollar. It's a great find. Check for any of the DDRs. Because there's a couple, but I don't see them. 1964, 90% silver, half dollar. Great find. I'll bring you in if and when we have anything else. All right, guys, we haven't found silver since that ender, but I'm on roll 24. And we have another silver. That's gonna be a 40%er. And there are no other silvers in this roll, but this silver is going to be a 1968 Denver. Second silver of the box. It's a 40, but it's still silver. We're gonna go ahead and bring you back in if and when we have another find. And if we don't have another find, I'll bring you in for the wrap up. Roll number 36. And I was sliding back the edges. I didn't think we had silver. But sure enough, almost an ender. We have a silver. Another, again, once again, that'll be 40%. But it's 1967. So it's silver. Even though it's not 90, it's still our third silver of the box, which is amazing. Hopefully in the next 15 or so rolls, we can find another one or two because that would be even better. All right, guys, we are done with that box. And just as a side note, one of the bad things about rolling your coins up is that you may run out of rolls once in a while. And this happened. So I'm putting all my coins in a bag and I ordered some more coins. Sorry, some more coin wrappers. And, uh... Hopefully, it'll get here soon, um, so I can get those rolled up. But before that, here's the wrap up for this box. It was not a bad box at all. We had two NIFCs, a 2009 and a 2013. I'll add that to my Hunt NIFC stack. And we had three silvers, 
two 40 percenters, and a 90. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this box that, again, has two definite enders, one here and one there, and maybe that one, too. Not so sure about that one, but we'll see when we get to it. I'm going to go ahead and put these up there so that we have some space for that box and whatever finds we have. All right, guys, roll number eight. We haven't had any finds yet. Um, but we are on that ender. It is a 1968 40% silver ender. So I'm going to go ahead and open it live with you guys. And see if there's anything else. And I don't think there will be anything else. But that one silver is going to be that 1968 Denver. First silver of the board. And hopefully we can get some more before there. Alright guys, since that last silver ender, we again haven't had anything. So we're gonna roll number 17, which is that other silver ender. Well, let's hope that there's some more inside. And I don't believe so. Yeah, there's gonna be no more inside. But this silver ender is a 1967. Two 40 percenters on the box. And they were both enders. Let me just make sure that this is not a proof, which it isn't. It is just a 1993 Philadelphia, probably from a mid-set or something. All right, guys, two silvers on the board. Both, 40 percenters and both were enders. All right, guys, we are done with that box. And unfortunately, the two enders were the only two silvers in the whole box, which is the first time that's ever happened to me. And uh, and the one that I said on the bottom that looked like an ender was an ender, an ender. It was just a 1977. So on the box, we had those two 40% silver, 1967 and 1968. Definitely not complaining at all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, final wrap up. Three Benjis, 64. Three 40 percenters, two miscellaneous coins of Light Planchet and a DDO, a hold coin, so really three miscellaneous, a whole lot of NIFCs, and a proof. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead, put all this away in their respected roles, and uh, hopefully I'll be back soon with some more hunts. I have a penny box, so probably a penny hunt.